everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Sing with Susie. I'm just hanging out here with my pup Penny on this beautiful fall day here in Brooklyn, New York. And I see some friends are already starting to watch. Thank you so much for joining us. Go ahead and type in your child's name so that I know who's here. Friends are watching from all over the world and we would like to know where you are watching from. So go ahead and type in your child's name and you can even add where you're watching from and think about who you will invite to watch with you next time. Friends are able to watch together with their grandparents, their cousins, their friends, their pets, <laughs> even their favorite stuffies. So we would love to invite you to invite somebody to watch Sing with Susie with you next time. On Sing with Susie, we celebrate diversity from all backgrounds and abilities. Everyone is welcome here. We have a very exciting day today. We have our special guest, Wendy Gelsenleiter, is returning from Teaching Beyond the Square today. She's going to be showing us the materials trailer that we gave you a little preview on last month. And we're going to be working with some objects, three round objects, actually. So in the next few minutes, if you don't have your three round objects already gathered, you have time to go ahead and look around your house for things that you might have thought to throw out or recycled and bring those to the show and let's see what you will do with your objects today. We're gonna have our second episode of Play, Create, Build with Wendy in just a few minutes. So I can't wait to um, share that episode with you. Also wanted to let you know that we have a brand new Halloween song called Party Monsters with my friend Fuch that is out into the universe this week. So if you haven't checked it out, please be sure to go to my website, susieshelton.com, and you'll be able to find it there. You'll also be able to find it on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, and now everywhere that you stream your music. And it's a really fun song to dance to, and we'll be sharing that song next week during our Halloween special, which is happening one week from today. But I'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. Wanted to let you know that today's show is sponsored by Teaching Beyond the Square. And Teaching Beyond the Square is helping children think outside of the box. And you should go to teachingbeyondthesquare.org to find out more information about them and ways that we can work together to bring that type of learning outside of the box to your home. So thank you so much for our sponsors. If you're interested in becoming a Sing With Susie sponsor, Please, and advertise your business, event, or service on the show, please go ahead and email me at Susie at SusieShelton.com. All right, let's go ahead and get started. That was a lot of talking. We have a lot of friends here today. Ivan and Epo are here. Hello, friends. Augustus is here. Arnold is here. And Arnold says, I hope it's as pretty a day by your house as it is here in Chicago. As you can see, Arnold, it's a beautiful day here. My mom is here. Happy Wednesday, mom. And my friend Susan Fox is here. Yay, Susan from Park Slope Parents. Taylor from Dallas is watching. And big hugs from Claire and Keelan just before sleep time in Ireland. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and start off with the song called It's a Beautiful Day. And this song was requested, I think, on Monday by my friend Rachel. I'm not sure if she's watching yet today, but if you are, Rachel, this song goes out to you. My cousin Tammy is watching in Ohio. Hi, Tammy. Great to see you. I wanted to do this song today because it couldn't be a more beautiful day here in New York. The last couple days have been chilly and cold, but today is just beautiful and warm, and the leaves are starting to fall, and it's just beautiful here in Brooklyn. So... If you have your shakers ready with you, or if you have a dancing scarf ready to dance, go ahead and get ready to dance along with me. Here we go. It's a beautiful day. I wish I could play behind my house, outside with my friends. It's a beautiful day. So what do you say? Do you want to come over so the fun never ends? It's a beautiful day. Ba -ba -da. Take your hand in your 
hands ready, reaching out for me. It's a beautiful day. I wish I could play behind my house, outside with my friends. It's a beautiful day. So what do you say? Do you want to come over so the fun never ends? It's a beautiful day. ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba She loves this song. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and big shout out to Lorelai, who is also, also watching with Uncle Arnold. Hi, Lorelai. <laughs> so before we bring my special guest, Wendy Gelsenleiter, to the stage, I just wanted to give a shout out to my dear friend, Susan Fox, and all of our friends. Where is it? Where is my? There we go. At Park Slope Parents. Park Slope Parents is a wonderful re resource for all parents here in Brooklyn, New York, and anywhere around the world. For all of your parenting needs, they have advice on everything from infants to teenagers and everybody in between. And they are one of my biggest supporters of all of my Sing With Susie live shows and the show that we are doing in person these last six weeks called Jack and Friends Family Music Playground Series. And tomorrow will be our last day of the series. Thursday, October 21st, the music starts at 10.30 a.m. and the giant bubbles start at 10 a.m. And I'll be with my friend Maytar Forkash. And I keep mentioning these giant bubbles. And so I wanted to show a little clip of my friend Susan and these amazing giant bubbles that she's been making every single Thursday for all the kids there. It's a very, very short clip, but I just wanted to share with you because it's so much fun. And since you can't be there in person, I'm going to bring it to you. So here we go. Here's a little clip of my friend Susan <laughs> making these amazing giant bubbles. And the song in the background was from my friend John Sampson's song, Only Love. And that is what is happening every Thursday morning. And tomorrow is the last day. So please join us if you can. And I have some friends watching that are here. Mrs. Saya is joining. And Jane and Wendy are here. And Taylor is watching. And my friend Susan says, thank you. Thank you, Susan Fox, for all of your support. All right. So I think it's time. I would love to share with you our second episode of Play, Create, and Build with Wendy. And actually, Cinnamon Bear and I traveled to Pine Plains, New York um, about a month ago, and we were able to see inside this amazing materials trailer that travels throughout New York City to various schools in the area. And inside the materials trailer 
it is filled with all of these amazing things that you can use for open-ended play. So today we're going to be discovering what Cinnamon Bear has found with three round objects. Here we go. Hi everybody, Cinnamon Bear and I are back with Wendy from Teaching Beyond the Square and we're back in the materials trailer. And remember last time we asked you to find three round objects in your home. Well, Cinnamon Bear, show us what you found. Let's see. We have, hold it up. We have this <gasps> and we have that. Where did you find this Cinnamon Bear? Oh. That's a marker top. Marker top. Ah, <laughs> nice. And we have one more. That's the top of a coffee top. So tell us, Wendy, what are some things that we can do with these three round objects? Oh, well, the first thing I like to ask people to do is see if you can balance these three objects. Can you put one on top of the other? Okay, I'll help you, Cinnamon. Let's see. Please. Cinnamon bear! Look at, Look at that! Let's see if we can... Oh, oh, what, oh, oh, oh it fell. Let me hold it up so that we can see. Look at that, balance! It's balanced. Look at that. What a great way to stack these three round objects. Now, what else can we do with our round objects? You know, Cinnamon Bear, you might want to try... Could you try lining them up maybe from either smallest to largest or biggest or okay. go the other way biggest to smallest here we go i'll help you there we go and here oh yeah good job cinnamon bear so it goes big medium and small right another thing you can do if you have a variety of objects you can make up a story if you wanted to all right. Um, look at this. This to me looks like maybe it could be like a fishing pond. What do you think? Fishing pond? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what is this? If that's the fishing pond, what is this? Here, tell me. This could be the fish. Oh, that's a big that. fish. That's a big fish. The fish is swimming in the swimming in the fishing pond. And, oh, what could this be? <gasps> mm. Wait, he's. A boat. boat! I love that. Is it how? So the boat? Should I? Should I put the boat not in the water, but 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 right above the fish? Okay. So I have to hold on to the boat so that the boat won't touch the fish, right? Okay. So I'm gonna make a little sound like this. Is that good? And here comes the fish. But I, the fish is splashing. The fish is splashing in the fishing cart. Very small. Uh, piece of water, or what's it? What, how do you say that? Uh, body of body water. Body of water. <laughs> um, can I can I take the boat out of the water now? Okay. And friends at home, you can share your ideas of the things that you've done with your three round objects by taking a picture or a video and sending it to me at Susie at SusieShelton.com, or you can type in in the chat and let us know what you've done with your three round objects. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, and I you're can't welcome. wait till we see you again next time when we're gonna be having our friends find objects with holes in them. That's right. And how many should they bring? Um, two. Two. Two objects with holes in them. And then something else, Susie. What else? Mm. Something Maybe. to go through yeah, the holes. Something to go through the holes. Like what? What would go through the hole, Cinnamon? Oh, like maybe a stick. A stick? Sure. Oh, a ribbon. A ribbon. <laughs> can't wait to see what you're going to find at home. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you again, Wendy, when we oh, see yeah. you next time in the materials trailer. Can I give you a high five? Yeah. Cinnamon Bear, ready? One, five, two, three. Boom. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.
great. Thank you, Wendy. And thank you, our friends at Teaching Beyond the Square. Through collaborative partnerships with school communities, Teaching Beyond the Square works with students, educators, and parents to advocate developmentally appropriate best practices, which are more playful, effective, engaging, and equitable. And you can find out everything you need to know at teachingbeyondthesquare.org. And next time when Wendy comes on the show, see if you can find two things with holes in them and something to go through it. Now, I would love to know what are some of the round objects that you found and that are in your home that you can use for open-ended play. So during this next song, go ahead and type it into the chat. What are some round objects that you have in your home? And we'll find out what, or we'll see some of ideas of what you can do with those round objects for some open-ended play. All right, the next song that we're gonna do is actually a new song to me. I have never sung this song before. And it is about some round objects called Bubbles. <laughs> this song is called Tiny Bubbles. It's by Don Ho. And this song was actually a suggestion made to me or a special request, actually, if I could sing this song at our live show tomorrow at the Old Stone House by my friend Rabia. So Rabia, I learned the song for you. And while our friends are typing in what are some round objects that you have in your home? I'll go ahead and sing or attempt to sing Tiny Bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the wine Make me happy, make me feel fine Tiny bubbles make me warm all over with a feeling that I'm gonna love you till the end of time. So here's to the golden moon, and here's to the silver sea, but most of all, a toast to you and me. Tiny bubbles in the wine. Make me happy, make me feel fine. Tiny bubbles, make me warm all over. With a feeling that I'm gonna love you till the end of time. <laughs> With a feeling that I'm gonna love you till the end of time. Thank you, Ravia, for that suggestion. And let's see if some friends have any answers for us. What are some round objects that you have in your home? A sock. Okay, Taylor, that's a good one. Reese's. Oh, such a fun song. Thank you, Mom. Let's see. And I have from Arnold Reese's Cups, a pie pan, a baseball, and a pumpkin. <gasps> Just like this one. That would be a great, these are great round objects. I wonder what we could do with them. Actually, let's see, I have two pumpkins. Let's see if I can stack them. <gasps> I've stacked the two round objects. <laughs> and this is biggest to smallest. Actually, there's even another one, although I'm not sure that that's, they look about the same size. I would have to ask Wendy about this one, but I think I can stack them. Okay, let's try it. Here we go, Wendy. I've got this one, then this one, then this one. I did it! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Arnold, for that suggestion about the pumpkins. That's a great one. <laughs> and Taylor says, pumpkins too. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, friends, for those suggestions. All right. I have so many things happening next week. We want to give some announcements. Next week is Halloween week. So Halloween week. On Monday, October 25th, we are having my friends Andres and Christina from Uno Dos Tres Andres and Little Miss Anne joining us. And I have pictures for everybody here. We have Andres and Christina will be here on Monday sharing their brand new album, Activate. And also they're going to share a music video with us. And Little Miss Anne, my good friend from Chicago, will also be joining us. It's going to be a joint special guest show. 
And we're going to share a video that she has made in a new song for Halloween called Halloween Crew. So that is happening on Monday. Big news. And then on Wednesday, October 27th, is the Halloween special featuring Fuch, Esther Crow, Maker Gigi, and more. And here is our flyer. You have to join us. We're going to be um, going on a spooky walk. There will be muskrats there. We will learn how to make a monster. And we will sing together or dance together, actually, to the new song, Party Monsters, that Fuchs and I just released this week. So that's happening next week. That's going to be so much fun. All right. I think we have time to do one more song. <laughs> oh, and Wendy said, nice. Thank you, Wendy. I think she approved of my stacking my three round pumpkins. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and end with one last song. And I wanted to end with the song today about how happy it makes me to be able to connect with you like this twice a week. And I just am so grateful for everybody who is watching and talking about the show and sharing the show with their friends. And I'm also so grateful for all of the special guests that have joined me over the past year and a half, including Wendy from Teaching Beyond the Square, including on Uno, Dos, Tres, Andres, Andres and Christina, and Little Miss Anne, and Fuch and Esther Crow, who are going to be on, and all the special guests that I've had over the last year and a half. It makes me so happy, and just like the tiny bubbles, and I'm very grateful. So thank you so much, friends. This song is Makes Me So Happy. I want to thank you for coming and sharing yourselves with me singing and dancing together makes it feel like one family and family makes me makes me so happy Sing out.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And Taylor is reminding me that tomorrow, Lori Berkner has a Facebook Live at 6 o'clock. Thank you, Taylor, for reminding me. And I don't have time to do any more special request songs, but I will keep those in mind for next week. I hope that everybody will join us next week, which starts off Halloween week on Monday with Uno, Dos, Tres, Andres and Little Miss Anne. And I'll see everybody again on Monday. Have a wonderful rest of your day and have a wonderful weekend. Penny and myself are wishing you so much love and so much support from our couch in our living room in Brooklyn to wherever it is that you're watching. Bye, everybody.